And when it comes to realistic digital sculpting, anatomy plays a huge role. Whether you're making stylized sculpts or realistic ones, you definitely need a good baseline anatomy for you to create believable characters. And studying anatomy or having a resource that can help you with that, in most cases might be quite expensive to get around. And today we have an interesting update as Turon CG artists alongside Motion Jensen are offering the anatomy tool to everyone totally for free. And this is Anastomia. And Anastomia is a comparable anatomy software for artists who would like to study anatomy or even compare multiple anatomy. So whether you're dealing with quadrupeds or bipeds, you can now easily tell what muscle is what and also what joint or bone is what. This is going to be very useful for 3D sculpting artists, muscle simulation artists and rigging artists. And for those who like to get this, you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here may be able to get it and how you get this is super simple so first off this used to be a subscription based stuff right now you can claim it totally for free so in this case we can say we would like to have this for two years go all the way down because you know at this point we're going to say we're practitioners and we're going to have that because it's free and we're going to dial in that is how much we're willing to give and click on subscribe now once you do that this is going to bring you right here and you can tell how much you need to pay you pay the first amount and then you pay the vat on top of that but because this is now free all we can do to get these totally for free is to type in the word free that is the magical word and once you do that press the enter key and there you have it for free so in this case you can now put in your email and click on get to get it now once you have that you'll notice they have different variations or should i say different versions of this so we can also click on the most recent one which is the 2025.2.2 and download the version that is more appropriate for you so we've got linux mac and also windows and for our case we're simply going to download the windows version now these would not install as it's a standalone tool that just works without installation and once this pops open you would notice that we've got these interesting looking user interface now by default how you move around this is very simple with your left mouse button you can obit with your middle mouse you can pan and with the wheel you can roll in and out you can also choose to sync these two models together the biped and the quadruped by simply clicking on sync if you simply do that and move around you will notice that they all sync and move other things that you can do with this which is pretty dope is depending on the muscle that you're trying to sculpt or you're trying to recreate or learn more about you can go ahead and just click and you can see the name of the muscle right there you can click one more time to unselect that and we can also go ahead and do the same thing for the quadruped so we can click on that and there you go that's the name of that muscle we can also do this and we have these two selected and we can also do that and we have all of those ones selected as well we can also choose to hide those muscles if we want and we can choose to solo the selected one, which is currently this one. If we like to show everything, we can do that. And other things that we can do is we can get full view of one particular anatomy. So in this case, if we're looking at the horse, we're seeing only the horse here. And if we like to see them side by side, we can, of course, go ahead and click all the way out. So we can click to see just the biped and we can click out to see the both of them right here you notice that we've got muscles and we also have the skeletons if we don't want to see the muscles we can click on that and this is going to hide the muscles or we can turn that on and we can do this to reduce the opacity so this is also going to be very cool for learning maybe how muscles layer right on top of the skeleton if this is something you're interested about you can definitely go ahead and see this so if we go here you would notice that we have the horse simplified which is basically just the horse without the muscle so that's what it is so horse simplified is the horse without the muscle more like a simplified cage of what the horse bones would look like then we've also got the wolf simplified similar situation if you just want to see the skeleton of a wolf possibly a dog then you can also go ahead and turn that on and then we've got the big dog shape and the mannequin traditional possible and for the mannequin traditional possible this is more like the typical stick figure that you can buy at stores and you can use this to pose how you like your character to be so it's more like a digital version of what you have with the default one and you can simply start moving parts around and how you move this part is very simple so all you need to do is to have any of the specific part of the body that you like to move selected and outside the model you can simply right click and move it left and right up and down to pose it now these poses or the rotation will be dependent on the view of the model that you're currently looking at 
and that is basically how easy it is for you to pose and work with this specific one. And for the big dog shape, there is a couple of nice poses that you can work with. So at this point, if you simply look down here, you would notice that we've got a forward, backward, you know, stuff like that. So if we move one step forward, we can start seeing some poses. And these can be really good poses that you can use to study a few things. And you can actually go ahead and check this out. So you can check out all of the poses that this comes with. This is more like when the dog is lying down, um, possibly it's super excited, about to meet someone, trotting pose, which can be used for either the dog walking, pacing, or just doing a simple trot. And we've also got maybe just looking behind, and we've also got the dog playing, stuff like that. So you've got different poses, and you can actually use these things to start learning how the anatomy of a quadruped, in this case a dog, actually works. So if you're thinking about using shapes to sort of construct that, there you go. So this is more like a learning tool for anyone that is thinking about getting into anatomy or possibly you're just wondering where several joints or muscles are and how they are properly shaped just in case you would like to replicate that. For some cosmetic stuff, you can change the shaders if you want, so in this case you can do that. At the same time, you also have this, which is more like cell shading and you can just change it however you want. There's also the lighting. You can play with the lighting. You can also play with the environment. And uh, you can see that we can rotate this as well. And you've just got a few cool things that you can work with. So by default, this is a very interesting tool that I think if you're into muscle simulation, you're into sculpting or even rigging, that you might find super useful. And the good thing is this is totally free right now. And you can simply go ahead and grab it. And speaking about things that you can grab, the folks at Flip Normal are doing something called the Flip Box. And I think this is something that might be happening every single month. And this month, they're working alongside Nikolai, that is a veteran 3D sculpting artist that uses Blender to make amazing piece. He's popularly known as Speedcar, and currently he's doing a simple Flip Box bundle of his popular character sculpting tutorials. So if you're thinking about exploring this, possibly you're thinking about how you can get started with sculpting arms, legs, heads, body, all of that stuff then by all means, you should definitely go ahead and check this out. And of course, for those who are thinking about learning more about sculpting characters, maybe you like to sculpt realistic characters, there's also some interesting courses as well that can come in super handy. And you might also find these other tools as well, super handy for yourself. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Links to all of this is going to be in the description, so do well to check them out. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.